This video will show you step-by-step -step how to register for spring and summer 2025 courses on my tech. So just a few things for you to know before you get registered for classes is that you need to have all of your holds cleaned up on your account before you can register. That could be a tuition hold, a measles, mumps, rubella vaccination hold that you don't have those on file yet, or a final high school transcript hold, which means that we need your final high school transcript. If you don't have those things, you won't be able to register for the next semester until it's taken care of. Also, you need to have registration clearance from your program advisor, and they will tell you how to obtain that clearance with them. And if you want to register for summer classes, please let them know that they need to clear you for summer as well. All right, let's jump in to the registration. Again, we're on my tech. Click on the student tab. On the student tab, you're going to go down here and click on online registration. From here, go to the course search. Make sure that your term is selected to 24-25 spring term. If it isn't, just hit the drop down, click the correct term. Now, I suggest to avoid frustration that you don't put anything in these boxes because um, it's limited to certain different characters. I find it much easier to just go to the bottom and hit the search button. So just to let you know, for this scenario, I am a business administration student and I've met with my program advisor to get clearance for the spring semester. How do I know I have clearance? Well, I have these ad boxes. If I didn't have these ad boxes, it would mean that A, I don't have registration clearance, or B, I have a hold on my account that won't let me register for classes. So having those ad boxes is your clue that you're ready to go. Or it might mean, if you don't have boxes, that you're registering before registration opens for your program. So again, I'm a business administration student. I've worked with my program advisor and I have my list of the classes that they want me to take. The first one I need to take is a business class. And I'm going to go here because there's a BU down there, but nope, I don't see the course that I need on this screen. So I'm gonna to go to the next one. And it is supervisory management that I'm supposed to take. And I see a couple of options here. This one meets Mondays and Wednesdays, 11 to 12, 15, and it shows that it meets for the entire 16 weeks of the semester. And now this one um, says that it meets online. And you know that because there's the O at the end of the course numbers, and then it says over here online. I wanna show you another thing while we're on this page is look at customer service here. This one has an AO, both of these have AOs. So the O we know means online but the A means that it's an accelerated course. It doesn't meet the full 16 weeks of the semester. It meets for only eight weeks. When I look over here, this one meets for the first eight weeks of the semester, and this one meets for the second eight weeks of the semester. So just be careful when you're choosing your classes to know what to look for, if it's an online and on-campus, or if the course begin and end dates are different than the begin date and end date of the semester. All right, so back to supervisory management. I've decided I want to take this business to 10. I'm going to take the one that's on campus Mondays and Wednesdays from 11 to 12, 15. Now I just scroll to the bottom and I add the course. And you'll see it was successfully added. And down here, there's my schedule. I have it taken care of. Now, if I decide, oh, I don't want to take that class, I want to take a different section or whatever, all you need to do is hit this button here in the drop, drop selected courses, and you can go in and choose something else. So just keep that in mind as well. Now, I know I have to register for a communications requirement, so I'm going to hit my search button again and just repeat that process for registering. And I'm going to look at English. Let's start here. And I'm going to take English 100. 
and I am going to take it online. How do I know it's online? Because it has an O here and it says online there. So I'm going to click that, add courses. Again, it says successfully added to the registration record. I go down here and look. Yes, I know that I registered for the online because I see the O, I see online here, and those are the two courses that I'm going to take for the spring semester. Now, in this scenario, let's say I want to take a summer course. Very easy. You're just going to do the same thing. You're just going to go to the drop down, change that to summer term, and hit search. So here comes the schedule again for summer, but look, I don't have any ad boxes. That's because I didn't ask my program advisor to give me clearance for registration for summer. So in this scenario, I will have to contact my program advisor and ask them to give me clearance for the summer term. And then I would just come in here and do the exact same process all over again. If you have any questions about the registration process on MyTech or you're having some difficulties, maybe a warning is coming up that you don't understand, please reach out to Student Success or the Registrar's Office. We'll be happy to help you. Also, I encourage you, I strongly encourage you to register on the day that your program registration opens. Number one, it will give you the best selection of courses and also we will have people posted in your buildings to help you with registration that day. But don't hesitate to reach out to Student Success in the Registrar's Office. We're here to help you with this process.